Now that you have a solid foundation with Character Animator, it's useful to know where you can go from here. So we have covered a lot of ground in this video series. Everything from the user interface, to rigging, to triggers, to recording, to editing, to exporting. So where do you go from here? Well, one of the things you might want to do is stream your characters uh, for Zoom or Teams or social media. And how do you do that? That's not going to be covered in this video series because it is a moving target. So I do want to show you where you'll find the latest documentation on that. In Character Animator, if you go to File and you go to Export and Live Options, this is going to launch the Character Animator page that shows the latest updates to this evolving technology. Typically, it's going to involve at least one or more third-party plugins, uh, but it is certainly worth exploring this more advanced feature. I would also point out there are a ton of great character animator sites. I'm going to shamelessly plug Heads of Curriculum, where you can download a lot of free puppets that might have even more advanced behaviors that you can reverse engineer and learn an awful lot about Character Animator with these puppets as well. And with that, uh, on behalf of Rob, Magnus, and Roberta, I hope you've enjoyed this video series and the assets provided. Happy animating.